Hello and welcome back to my RimWorld Sea Ice Challenge. So, we've got a bit of a raid coming in. Looks like they want to use sappers to defeat our defenses. The bonuses, they're all melee. Um, some of them will collapse in the cold. It's not super cold out because we are just into spring. Uh, so, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Although, NG is already shivering. So... Um, yeah, I think everybody got weapons. Yep. All right, uh, you've got an SMG. Hmm, do you want to keep that? We should probably get you... We need to make her a better gun. We need to make some better guns. Some better assault rifles would be nice. Maybe some charge rifles. I like charge rifles. Uh, I think you've got a good SMG though, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the good SMG in Naviero's hands right now. Um, let's... Uh, what are your needs like? You're really hungry. Okay. You're not shivering. Angie's shivering right now. We need to warm him up. Uh, we don't want him to start the fight uh, shivering. I don't know where they're going to come from or go. There's just so many of them. Uh, so maybe I'll have Ava go here. We'll see where they come and go. All right, these ones are... This guy's moving. Let's see. Shivering asthma. He's way out in front. Maybe take him out. Once Neviero eats, we'll have her come and join Ava. Might have Ava go over here, take some pot shots at him. Have you ever heard you done eating? Okay, let's have you go here. I don't know where they're going. And then there's another whole big crew down here. Hopefully we can take out like a couple of these guys. How are you doing, NG? You know, 3.7. So, yeah, they're going to get cold. What's this guy? Spring is not great. Some of them are going to are gonna collapse because yeah, he's already at minor, right? Some of them have some good clothing, so they'll be okay. This guy here, he's, he's going to go down. There's, he's not going to be much of a threat, I don't think. Ava's going to take a couple pot shots at this guy and hit a couple times. Not enough. Good shot, Ava. All right, we need to get NG in action now. Actually, have where are these guys? They're down here. Minor. Anybody at Sirius yet? Nobody's at uh, one at Sirius. Okay. After a few of these guys drop, we'll be in good shape. But I got twelve more hours. Let's see where do I want to send NG? Are you over here? I don't know where they're going. They're not coming at Ava. Yeah, he's gonna be too close there. I can't I can't send him there. It's too close, too close. Uh, maybe this guy'll pass by. We'll wait and see where he ends up. Ava's just picking people off. Good job, Ava. Wait for this guy to pass by, and she can poke his head out, maybe take him down. Now somebody's coming for Ava though. Ava's dropped to the fact that they're focusing on this wall is fantastic. I mean, go ahead, beat the beat that wall to death. Doesn't get you anywhere. I definitely do need to get more wall protection just around my power so that it takes people longer to get into my power area. 
All right, they're coming for Ava now. All right, so the tribes people are fleeing. Um, these guys are still going. As is this guy here. So they're still, they aren't fleeing yet, These this group. Okay, so what we'll do is, we'll have, oh, hold on Ava, repair that steel door. Oh, nice shot, NG. All right, you can get up there around the corner. Everybody's just watching. Once they come in range, they should be in range right now. I was gonna say they should be in range right now. Wait, I did not mean to cut that. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. All right, we can send these guys fleeing. Ava and NG are gonna <laughs> create a pin cushion. He's down. Oh, they, they did break one of my walls. Oh, they are in on the power. They did make it through. I, I was not paying attention. One of them is down. How far down is he? 44. So he's not too far down. 44. 44. All right, so... Um, now we got to get over here and, and defend our, our power, sadly. We're just too far away. I wasn't paying attention to there. I should have had Naviero uh, play with these guys. All right, NG, you got to get in over here. Ava, let's get some stuff. like he might get away he's gonna get away it's okay I'm gonna attack my power hopefully we can get in and, and shoot a couple of these guys oh they're starting to go down there another one went down that's good And a couple more of them are going to drop. And then as soon as that happens, then they'll want to fight their way out. Sadly, we may have to shoot them. We may have to shoot them down. We'll get his tribal wear. All right. Pretty soon they're going to flee. Okay, go. Go ahead and strip him. We'll uh, check out their melee weapons, see if they have anything good. They're all spears and stuff, I think, and Iquaz, so we'll probably just smelt all that stuff down. Uh, Ava, let's go ahead and just have you... Wait, did you not strip him? I guess I didn't. Uh, I, I, did a, I did a bad job there. All right, they're going to flee now. Um, hopefully they come out the this way. I don't think they're going to make it, to be honest. Uh, let's have Naviero get in here and strip, 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 strip. The bonus is uh, Bat, I think, has... What do you have, Bat? You must have good gear. Mega Sloth Wool Parka, good quality. How before, long before you collapse? I wonder if I should just have NG follow you. It's kind of a thought process because we want the we want that parka. I may have NG follow you and not shoot you. And we'll just kind of keep keep track of you. You're at 47. You're not gonna collapse for a while. If I shoot you, you'll die. At least that's what I think will happen. And I would like the parka. The mask, not so much. 
but the parka is good. We could use another parka as backup. And it's like 100%, I think, right? Yeah, and if I shoot it, I'll damage it too. So let's uh, let's try and keep Bat alive. We'll just follow him. <clears throat> keep a close eye on him. Hi, Bat. Oh, are you going to go all the way up here? Oh, you, you're not going to make it, I'm pretty sure. All right, it's not NG, so that's good. All right, we do have to haul these bodies out of here, but mm, there's some dead ones. Okay. Naviero, you are... You did a good job stripping some bodies for us. That's good. Uh, let's have her uh, haul something and then uh, drink some psychite tea. Okay. He's at 51. Okay, so he I don't think he's going to make it. That's good. Perfect. Let's have NG, you know, play. Hi, Bat. How you doing? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are you cold? You feel a little cold? Yeah? Maybe you shouldn't have attacked us and, you know, maybe, maybe you shouldn't have. Maybe you're going to make it off the map and I'm going to have to shoot you. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be tight. He's at 55. Bad, I want your stuff. I need you to collapse to the cold. Oh, oh, I might have to shoot him. Round 60 is when he drops. I think I have to shoot you. I was hoping to, I was hoping to, I was hoping he would collapse and give me that uh, parka for free. But alas, poor Yorick. He did not. Uh, so we do, uh, look, we got more hauling to do. Uh, Ava's favorite thing. Like I said, you should definitely read Ava's comments in the comment section. You'll really enjoy them. Uh, we'll speed up time here. We are into spring. Uh, we are moving uh, some of the bodies here. That's fine. And Ava's in a daze. Oh, that's not good, though, because you're going to get some hypothermia. Uh, well, at least you'll collapse from the cold, and I uh, will rescue you, okay? So, yeah, you came inside, so I guess that's not going to happen. I'm going to turn this off. We got hauling to do. So we'll get that done. Lots of gear to pick up. Nothing good, though, I don't think. All the good stuff got away. Megasloth wool tribal wear. What was I looking at? Oh, that. Okay. It's poor quality, though. Oh, Ava. Poor Ava. Well, at least you stopped, so you can help us out now. Uh, let's do this. Let's get everybody on primary hauling. Let's get the hauling done. You can whistle while you work if you want. But let's just get her done. Get her done! Uh, something I need to do before it gets cold, it was a suggestion is uh, rather than hauling all the bodies, you know, you can just burn them in place. And I'll do that with these ones that are up here, but we gotta get that hauling in first. So once all the hauling's done, then I'll send somebody out with some Molotovs. We'll do a little bit of spring cleaning, I think. Right, we can uh, torch all these bodies and kind of clean them up. Make our map look a little better. 
I need that mod. There is a mod. Uh, rain washes all the dirt away or whatever. So basically, like, when, when you get rain or... I wonder if snow does it. I don't know. Uh, but basically, it cleans up your map. A blacksmith named Sasquatch calls from nearby. Oh, it's a she. She's being chased by outlanders. Do we want to save her and fight off... Grenaders, mercenary gunners, slashers, council. It's a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys. And we just we just fought off a battle. Be more stuff though, right? And they will come at us head on. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 guys. Do I want to fight off another 20 guys? Not right now. We're still hauling in the stuff that we got there. Plus, we have to fix the... Uh, we're going to need to fix this as well. You know, if I have enough blocks, I'll have to think. Um, maybe I'll actually build extra protection on this entire side. So there's like a, they have to come through at least two walls to get to the power. Although I'm going to probably have power in here. At least that's my plan. I need more power before winter. Uh, I'm going to move my batteries as well. That's it. Fire. No, no. Save the muffs. Save the muffs. Save the muffs. Save them. Save them. Oh. Oof. Save the muffs. Is the hauling all done? The hauling is almost all done. Alright. We're going to turn off haul. Turn everybody back to two is fine. We have other tasks to do. Uh, let's check where... Uh, Ava, you can keep hauling. That's fine. We've got more chunks to bring in. Be nice to get them all in before winter. And I think that's the rest. That's that's the end, right? That's the end of the chunkaroonies. So that's good. NG, uh, after you rest, I think what we'll do is we'll like, eat some food. Uh, we gotta make some food for the muffs again, looks like. So cargo pods, more stuff to haul. Twelve simple meals, not anything fantastic, but it's not too far away. So a couple extra simple meals, eh, not a big deal. But I gotta make food for the muffs. Did I have simple meals in storage here? I do. Okay, good. Um, so actually I don't need to feed the muffs right now. We'll just have to haul in the simple meals. Hopefully Ava does that on her own without me telling her to. Nope, she hauled in the steel chunk first. It's good. The muffs have food now. Uh, well, we will have to make food for the muffs here soon. And where's where's my boy NG? He's cooking a fine meal. I mean, that's pretty fine, buddy. But, but what I need you to do is uh, let's do some spring cleaning. I just saw my Molotovs. I know they're here. They're there. I was like, where are you? Okay, let's go we'll take care of these bodies first. All right, let's slow down time a little bit so I can just... It should spread to there, but I just want to make sure. There we go. All right, let's go over uh, here. Okay, uh, yeah, come on, we're gonna clean up the map. I'm not gonna go any further. Let's go get this big group of bodies up here. That's right, Angie.
Good job, buddy. All right. Oh, hypothermia. Hypothermia. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad, Angie. Oh, my bad. Real bad. Real bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh that was my bad. Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, go eat. That's fine. Go rest. And uh, I can't remember who's the best doctor. But they're both the same. Uh, Ava, I think, might be better, honestly, because she has the... Uh, she has the bionic eye. Uh, we need a light in here, actually. Why do we not have a light in here? That's a good question. Uh, we'll have to do that. We'll have to get a light in here. We'll, we'll get a light in here. I thought we had a light in here, but I guess we do not. Uh, but we'll, we'll have you tend to him. It's fine. Good job. Okay, you don't technically have to rest until healed. I just wanted you to get treated. Uh, once your rest is done, we'll have you wake up. All right, go ahead and do some stuff. It's fine. Cooking wasn't kind of the ideal, but uh, let's go have you uh, finish off your spring cleaning. It's a not as... I'll have to be a little careful here. Let's get this guy. Right, we're at the edge of the map. We might as well get her. Okay, where are we at? Health-wise... Pay, pay more attention this time. Hypothermia, you're shivering at 14. All right, let's go and just get these guys up here. And uh... and there we go. Uh, wait, why are there bodies down here? Did I not clean them? Angie, you're about to break, are you? You really are. Oh, you're ravenously hungry. Okay, well... Go eat. I don't want you to break. Your mood is important to me. Okay, we can put the... Uh, did they burn to death? Uh, the, the, the reason why they, they probably... We probably put the fire out is probably what happened. Huh. Uh, we need uh, muff food. Okay. I don't know who's going to eat first. It's going to be Angie or Naviero. One of the two. Did we get all the simple meals? Yeah, so the muffs ate all the simple meals already? You piggly bastards. Oh yeah, we do need to fix that. Thank you. Now we can actually make muff food. Um, I thought all the fine meals were... There we go. You know, I was going to make kibble. That's what I probably should do. I'm running out of room in my freezer here, though, so I can't really put a butcher block in there. I mean, I can expand the freezer, I guess, at this point. Uh, yeah, go put some more food on the... That's good. And then we'll have you make some more. Keep the muffs in food there. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and... Haul some more. 
Want some more? Yeah, so we're we're eating fine meals now. Ah, that's good enough, I guess. We're eating fine meals, except for right now, Eva didn't have one. All right, we should be done with fine meals for a little while, right? Yeah. Okay. Making some drugs. So what I could do is, uh, since I was, I'm building here anyway, is I guess I could expand this area a little bit. It won't hurt. I'll have to look and see what we have for blocks here. Let's see, we have eight sandstone, so we can do one sandstone. How much granite do we have? We've got 203 granite. Okay. That's 90. 135. That's like 150, but we're going to put like a door in here, right? So let's go. Uh, I'll put a steel door there, put a steel door there. And I was thinking about... Expanding that. Maybe I won't go this far. We'll go that far. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, double wall this off. We can expand our freezer area. I can double wall the freezer too. Uh, we'll see. We'll expand the freezer area. That'll be good. Um, just so we can have some more food down here. I'm gonna put the muffs down here and I'll move the batteries. I don't know if I'll make a new room for the batteries. I mean, I can just move the batteries up here. I can move them up here as well. Wait, who has hypothermia? Angie? Must be Angie. This one outside doing stuff. Yeah, so we do want roof over this. Uh, I can't remember if I took... Yeah, we'll build roof over this. That's fine. So then what we'll do is... We'll deconstruct this. did put kibble here we did make some kibble um, but I think I'll make the butchers I'll make the butchers block for it um, yeah, we'll expand this zone And I'll build a butcher's block out of steel, of course. Yes, yes, it'll all have bad temperature penalty. That's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, and so then in here, we want to add a bill to make kibble uh, details. Let's do until I have a hundred. Pause when satisfied, drop on floor. Bring the radius in. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm only going to make the kibble out of 
any vegetarian and animal products and hay. We don't, we don't have any hay, but I guess if we were to get some. Uh, so we'll just make it out of the milk. So I don't know if we're going to have enough milk with the rice to make kibble to keep the muffalos alive, but I guess we'll find out. And uh, we will put... And I don't know what... I don't know what's best for like actual food nutrient value, right? Our nutrient paste meals for them. It's just that it's annoying having to like keep using the nutrient paste dispenser really is this is why I want to do this. Um, let's uh, check this one out. Do I have kibble in here? I do. Okay. Um, so we do have, uh, let's go ahead and build the rest of this. And we were building this out of limestone, right? We still have 138 limestone, so hopefully we have enough for that. All right, so... We've double walled in here now. It's not double walled here, so it's cold here. It's double walled over to here, which, why is it so cold over here? Uh, is that like normal cold? Yeah, I guess because it is getting colder outside. We have the two heaters and we are not double walled. We should probably think about double walling there. How much granite do we have left? We still have 87. Um, if we double wall this off and just put one door in place here, it should be okay. Uh, so we are approaching winter, so it is cold out. Um, what I'm going to do, not that it matters right at the moment, I'll just put everybody in the winter zone. Um, double walling this off will keep this, this warmer. I don't know that two heaters will be enough. Um, but... There's heat from here, heat from here, and we'll stop some of the cold from coming in. So it should get warmer in here, I would think. I don't know where it's going to settle at. Yeah, not bad. I mean, we open the doors and it cools down a bit. But we are staying, you know, close. You know, this this should stay nice and toasty now. Yeah, we don't really care about incapacitated refugees. So we now have 150 kibble. So is this build done? Yes. Okay. So we'll see. We'll try and keep the kibble going for them, uh, and we'll be eating fine meals. And uh, then maybe what we'll do in the, eventually is take out the nutrient paste dispenser. We might not need it anymore. Um, so I might take out this. I might take out this. Uh, I do need to move the batteries. Um, I just don't have enough space up here right now, and I kind of don't want them right there. I could put them in here. Maybe we'll do that. All right, what do we have left? Did we finish that? Okay, so we still have, we have 73 limestone. We might as well use it. Um, all right, so we're gonna need a door, say there. And so there. And so we have 73 limestone, so that is 40. 65, so that's gonna be the rest of the limestone, probably. Uh, we'll probably put a steel door there. And what else do we have? We have 69 marble. Now let's go ahead with some marble here. That was 10, 30. And we can do the rest in marble. So we can basically block off all that. And let's just make sure that I have uh, no roof over this because we don't want roof. Um, we're going to need more power in here. I 
can't put a wind turbine in there. I could put one. Nope. Yeah, this water's killing me for wind turbines right now. Um, okay, that's better than... Oh, it's pretty close, though. Again, an another winter uh, ship. It's a poison ship this time instead of a psychic ship, so... Uh, but the fact that it's close means we are going to have to worry about it. We can at least get some construction done first, I think. Then we'll worry about it. We'll probably end up worrying about it next episode. Uh, I'm contemplating putting the batteries over here. Uh, we'll finish whatever this is. Is that not in the winter zone? That's probably not in the winter zone, right? It's just outside winter zone. Okay. All right. So we'll put we'll put all this in the winter zone, so we can do that construction. We'll get that done. We'll see where we're at block block wise. Um, and then I'll build some batteries and I should build some extra ones uh, So we can have and then maybe a switch So I can have like some on on and then switch them on and off I'm not sure why you're wandering around down there, but that's okay. So we got that built. It's good All right, what do we got blocks left? We got eight limestone 19 marble and 57 granite so granite's the one we have most of uh, let's go ahead and well, we're going to move all the batteries over here, but we're going to need power in place. We actually do have a power line in place already. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we will uh, reinstall all the batteries over here. Reinstall you, not uninstall you. Although I should probably build the power first. <laughs> Before I start reinstalling batteries, I probably should uh, build the power lines so that we have the power. All right, so the temperature in here is 66, uh, 18 in here. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep the double door in because uh, I'm going to start heating this room up as well. All right, let's first kill these. We'll deconstruct these. Um, I need to store these somewhere else. Somewhere safe, though. That is a pretty safe spot for them, but... I mean, I could save them over here by the batteries. I just don't want to put the AI components over there. Like, the enemy doesn't seem to come over here. Ever. I mean, I could leave them with the buffalo. That would be okay, I suppose. Bonus about the poison ship is we'll get another advanced component. We'll get some more plasteel. Uh, negatives is mechanoids. And uh, trying to lure them will be rough. We do have a bionic leg. Don't we have an ear? Did I not make the ear? Oh, uh, we're in the process of making the ear. Okay. So we are almost into winter. It is definitely cold out. Uh, we got to start thinking about taking care of this poison ship. Uh, but I think we're going to save that for the next episode, probably. Uh, we did, we did we're pretty productive. We kind of cleaned up the, the area. We did a little spring cleaning. We've got a bit more uh, structure here, but we do need more power. And I can't put any more wind turbines in at the moment, sadly. Um, I can put a few more solar in, right, and I could, uh, I can even build them over here, but then, then I'm blocking myself off. So uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll build a couple solar here. 
uh, for a little extra power. And uh, I could also build What I'd like to do is get one of these uh, moisture pumps, kind of like right, like right here, maybe. Um, so we'll need. Can I put it on a bridge? I think I can put it on a bridge, right? So I'd have to build a bridge out to there. We're doing on wood, by the way. Well, we got three hundred. We could buy some more next time we get a bulk goods trader. Solar will help us out, a little bit extra power. I built one of the bridges, two of the bridges. All right, so let's go ahead and build one of these uh, moisture pumps. Should I go out one more? I probably should. Right, because right now the moisture pump will get that. If I go out one more, I think I'll get more area. I can even go out. No, that's probably good. One more is probably good. That's a good spot. Solar flare is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Why, why now? Why now? Okay. Okay, so we need to build a fire. We're gonna we're gonna pay attention this time, okay? So we'll build a fire. Right. We're gonna close the vents. I'm gonna have Naviero build the fire. Let's get it done. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna send the animals to solar flare zone. Okay, the so plants are going to die. Not much I can do about that. The muffalo are going to be okay this time. We'll have to pay attention to uh, you guys. Uh, your bedrooms are cold, but uh, you're doing okay right now. Hopefully this solar flare goes away soon. All right, everybody's okay. As long as you guys stay in this area, you're okay. Um, it is starting to get colder in here. The muffs are okay though. Your bedrooms are cold, but you'll survive. It's when you go outside in the real cold that you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they're warming up in that room. That's good. Okay, good. Solar flare is done. Uh, we can move the animals back to their zone. Okay, good. Uh, we survived another solar flare. Uh, they're the most annoying things that we have. I can deconstruct that and I can open the vents now. There we go. We did much better on that one. Nobody was injured. Uh, we got the final thing here. Let's go ahead and throw down our moisture pump here. We'll take back some of our land. It's going to take, uh, take a while, a couple seasons, but we will uh, take back some of this, uh, this land. And power-wise, we're doing okay. We can throw down a couple more solars if we need. And again, we always have our emergency uh, fuel. Uh, and we even have some extra just sitting here. And we, we can always make a little bit more. We do have an excess of food now. Uh, quite a bit of excess food, to be honest. Um, so much so that I can even stop uh, with some of the rice, maybe. Let's go ahead and throw down uh, some more cycloids. We'll throw down a little bit more cycloid. 
which uh, gets us more flake, which will get us more money, kind of long term. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Uh, we got to deal with this poison ship next time. Of course, it's winter, so eh, eh. No, it won't be fun. I'll be honest. It's not going to be fun. Hopefully, it won't be as annoying as a psychic ship. It shouldn't be because I don't have the mood to deal with. So, But anyway, until next time, Delgaro. Delgaro.